Step one is getting the distance laid out for where the tire legs are going to go. This varies between boats. A uh, couple things you have to keep in mind is making sure you have room for the windshield to open and uh, then how the tower lays down. Monster has a lot of information on their website that shows different uh, installations and about how far the front and rear legs can spread out. Uh, you can see on this boat right here we have it measured uh, to put the front leg mounts here which still leaves clearance for the windshield to open and then moving to the back uh, you want to make sure that wherever you have it set uh, that the tower can lay down flat in the boat hopefully you can get it to where it'll fit where it'll lay down inside the seat once you drill the holes in the fiberglass here it's a good idea to put a piece of tape over the fiberglass where you're going to drill through it'll keep the the glass from chipping and uh, whenever you drill through I don't know if you can see in this uh, video here but uh, you want a minimum of 3 8 of an inch uh, fiberglass thickness uh, where you're going to go through this particular boat was thin uh, probably a little bit hard to see but we've actually gone in and and reinforced the inside of this one to ensure adequate uh, thickness to meet that that minimum 3 8 specification so some of them accessibility is difficult but uh, you always want to make sure that, that you have three eight, that 3 8 of an inch minimum uh, which I would say we only run into probably maybe 10 percent of the boats that actually require this but this is one of the few okay moving on to the next step uh, the brackets attaching brackets for the tower are installed on the holes that we drilled earlier uh, these have the little rubber washers you keep in mind whenever you get this thing tight it has to be able to flex a little bit so that's the, the black rubber spacer that's under the bracket next step what we found easiest is when you pre-assemble the tower you just tighten it enough so it doesn't flop around and uh, we typically hang it like you can see here with a rope and then lower it lower it down uh, it's a lot easier than trying to manhandle the then trying to manhandle the tower uh, takes several people and the legs want to want to spread out and so forth so it's just easiest to use a rope with the tower pre-assembled and just lower it down into place and then you're going to attach it onto the brackets that you've installed in the previous step a little helpful hint is once you lower, lower this tower down you attach the legs on the rear brackets but uh, notice we haven't installed we do we have a marked where the front brackets are going to go but we don't go ahead and drill them in just in case once you get the tower set down on there you find out that there's something that interferes or whatnot and you want to end up moving it then you don't have it locked in and you can move them out uh, and spread them out further or whatever you need to for for other clearance but uh, that's just a lesson that was learned the hard way so uh, helpful hint Okay, drilling the holes here, notice the, the positions marked and then uh, a little center punch was used to locate the drill bit to drill the pilot hole, which will start now. The, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the drill bit is running in reverse direction. That keeps from grabbing and which has a tendency to grab the gel coat and uh, chip it so you always want to run that bit backwards to start with and get through that first layer of gel coat okay now for the correct size hole notice the drill bits run backwards again you get through the gel coat before you reverse it and turn it around
my snake down through here and got both my set the speaker wires hooked up to it. And 